hello everyone uh, in this video we will consider finding the uh, time and space complexities of the algorithm to find the height of a binary tree and as you might be knowing perhaps from some other videos or other websites that essentially this is a code to find the height of a tree what we do is that if uh, we have a null node uh, which uh, then the height of it is zero otherwise we take the height of the left and the right subtrees add take the max of those and add one to it let us quickly run through uh, this algorithm so you see if uh, uh, for any none node the height will be zero so when we are at any leaf node since both its left and the right children are none its own height will be max of 0 comma 0 plus 1 which is 1 so for any leaf node the height will be 1 any node above it the height will be 2 for instance for this particular node it will be max of 1 comma right child whose height is 0 because it is a none and so its height will be 2 uh, similarly this node's height will be true this node's height will be 3 this will be 4 what, for this particular node the height will be max of 2 comma 1 plus 1 which is 3 and similarly the height here will be 5 so let us try to find the uh, time complexity of this particular uh, algorithm and we will find the time complexity in two ways uh, one we will find it in a mathematical sort of way by solving a recurrence relation and other we will find it sort of in an intuitive fashion uh, where you will just make an argument and it will be very clear what is the time complexity so first let's first let's get to the mathematical way let t n be the time complexity of the algorithm if the input tree has n nodes then you can say that tn will be so what do you need to do to find out the height of a tree whose uh, which has n nodes you need to find the height of the left tree and the height of the right tree and let us assume that the tree is a balanced one uh, that is always the assumption well that is mostly the assumption when you are doing some tree problems you assume balanced binary trees because uh, if the tree is highly imbalanced then it is mm, roughly like an array and then you might as well use array or linked list if you can't have the balanced trees so let us assume that the tree is balanced in that case if the total tree has n nodes then the left subtree and the right subtree both will have roughly n by 2 nodes uh, because just a single the root counts for a single node so tn will be equal to you find the height of the left tree that will take you tn by 2 time because the left tree has roughly t uh, roughly n by 2 nodes similarly finding the height of the right tree will also take n by 2 time plus you have some more amount of work to do you have some uh, uh, one to add and you have to take the max and you also initially check if the tree is in null so so there, there will be some constant amount of work that you need to do you can write here uh, uh, k for that constant but uh, if that is the k whatever is the constant we can just assume that that is just one unit of work that is also fine to do in time complexity calculations you can replace the constant by one because uh, up to a constant it doesn't matter so what we are do what we are saying is that this is tn is equal to 2tn by 2 plus 1 great now what we do is we unroll this recursion one unit further so now tn by 2 itself is 2tn by 4 plus 1 and then there is this one so it is like this so what we get is 2 square t2 by 2 square tn by 2 square plus and I want I always find it uh, find writing numbers in increasing order more uh, easy so I will write this one 
plus and then there is this 2 into 1 which is 2. So see what happened is that at this stage we were at 2 tn by 2 plus 1 now we are at 2 square tn by 2 square plus 1 plus 2. So if we unroll it further what we are going to get is 2 cube tn by 2 cube if you if it is unintuitive to you you may wish to do it do the unrolling manually by yourself but what you will come up with is this 1 plus 2 plus 4 now you can keep on doing it the question is how long will you last when will it end a real in the real trees the recursion ends when you reach the end similarly here the recursion will end when you reach the leaf node because when you reach the leaf node well you go one more step down uh, at the empty node but we can consider the recursion to end when we have reached the leaf node because after that only some constant amount of work is left and we don't need to worry about it. So we will go on as long as n by 2 power k let's say that we have to do this k times we, we will do it as long as n by 2 power k is equal to 1. And so, so, so finally we will get 2 power k t n by 2 power k plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus dot 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 and 2 power k minus 1. You see when it was uh, 2 square we, was, we were at 2 power 1 here when it was 2 cube we were at 4 is 2 square we were at 2 square so when it is 2 power k we will be at 2 power k minus 1. So the qu and now we know that 2 power k is equal to n. So the question is how much does this come out to be? Now 2 power k as you see is n. So, so let us see how it comes out to be 2 power k is n plus t n by 2 power k is t1. So t1 is 1. Uh, we, we can take constants to be 1 just to find the height of a uh, a tree with one node that will take constant amount of time because the input itself is a constant in size. So, so this is 1 plus uh, 1 plus 2 plus up till 2 power k minus 1. So, this is n, this is 1. The question is what is this? Let us uh, try to uh, solve it. So, we are at n plus t of 1 plus uh, sorry plus 1 plus 2 plus up till 2 power k minus 1 where 2 power k equal to n right because we have said n by 2 power k is 1 so 2 power k is n now what you can do is you can just say that okay this thing is just n plus 1 plus this is a geometric series and if you remember uh, the way I studied geometric series is that a plus ar plus ar square plus dot 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 n terms is a r power n minus uh, n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So here there are so what you can do again is uh, apply, apply this formula for the summation of geometric series a it will be 1 r power n minus 1 r which is the common ratio is 2 power the number of terms the number of terms here is k because initially we had 2 power 0 finally we have 2 power k minus 1 so the number of terms is k 2 power k minus 1 divided by r minus 1 which is 2 minus 1 but what is 2 power k 2 power k is n so we can just replace it by n so what we have is n plus 1 plus n minus 1 divided by 1 which is roughly 2n which is order of n so what we have shown is that tn is order of n what it means is that the time complexity of this algorithm which we wrote initially t of n is order of n great so so we have shown mathematically that the time complexity of binary uh, uh, of finding the height of a binary tree is order of n 
so this was the mathematical way of finding the height of the uh, of finding the time complexity of the algorithm for finding the height of the binary tree we can have an intuitive way also intuitive method see the intuitive way to find the, uh, uh, the time complexity of this algorithm is this <laughs> initially you will be calling this algorithm with this particular node right when initially then you will be calling the same algorithm with this node and with this node then you will be calling the same function with this node and this node so you see for every node you will be calling this function and then you will also be calling with this this function with none values for each of the uh, empty children of any node so for this particular node you will be calling for this node and for this node and for here you will be calling for this and this for this particular uh, node left child exists but white child doesn't exist so you will be calling it once here also so if you see the number of times you will call this function is equal to once for each node so that makes it n plus uh, these empty children and how many empty children can there be well uh, so 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 let me write down here uh, number of times function is called is equal to number of nodes plus number of empty children right so for instance in this particular case let's say that if the tree is like this the number of nodes is equal to 4 1 2 3 4 while number of empty children is 1 2 3 and then there is an empty child for here 4 and then therefore 5 so number of empty children in this case is 5 so number of times this function will be called will be so number of empty children equal to 5 so number of uh, times this function will be called will be 4 plus 5 equal to 9 so now uh, you know that uh, for any t of n number of nodes is going to be n and number of empty children is going to be at most 2n why at most 2n because even if each node has two children two empty children and that is not going to happen because many many nodes will have non empty children but if each node have, has uh, and it has two empty children even then that our work will be done in or, or order and time so t of n you can see is not going to exceed order n so t of n uh, and t of n is not going to exceed order n and it is not going to be less than order n either because uh, uh, because there are n nodes and for them you are definitely calling the function so that is an intuitive uh, way to say that the time complexity for uh, the mm, uh, function which finds the height of the tree is order n so that is something that I wanted to share with you nextly let's worry about the space complexity for the same algorithm so let us write the algorithm very quickly uh, def height uh, some node and if not node then uh, return 0 uh, else return uh, max of node dot left well max of height of uh, height of node dot left comma height of node dot right plus one all right now the let us say that s of n is the space complexity of this algorithm then what do you think will the uh, uh, space complexity be but the mathematical way to do it would be 
uh, well maybe let us leave this space complexity for the next video because uh, it will take uh, quite a bit of time for me to do that uh, so but but i will just tell you that s of n comes to be order of log n and we will maybe look at this uh, in some later video uh, thank you very much for watching my video i will try to increase the quality of the video as we progress in this uh, discussion thank you very much bye bye